What most people probably don't realize is the scope of the problem in dealing with biomedical waste. There's over two million tons of biomedical waste generated in North America every year that has to be dealt with. And that is important to us. So as an organization, uh, we're being good to the environment and to the community and that's, it's the right thing to do. The Ozonator was the first step toward going green since then we've rolled out uh, recycle programs but the ozone converts out into the atmosphere. It's a safe uh, residual leftover. There, there's no smell, there's no mess. Ozonator Industries introduces the NG1000 Biohazardous Waste Processing System. This patented process incorporates breakthrough technologies to efficiently sterilize biohazardous red bag waste so it can be safely disposed of in a landfill. Up until recently, the most common method of disposing of biohazardous waste has been incineration. Incineration takes huge amounts of energy and has a further disadvantage of uh, giving off uh, potentially toxic byproducts like dioxins and furans, which are, are known to be carcinogenic molecules. In addition, ever-changing regulations to shut down or extensively rework incinerators to reduce emissions present huge challenges. And what passes as acceptable today may not be acceptable tomorrow. Engineers at Ozonator Industries analyze several alternatives to incineration, including other currently used technologies. Comparing the Ozonator technology to other technologies, for example, uh, steam treatment or autoclaving, or microwave treatment, which is essentially a heating process as well, uh, a wet heating process. Microwaves work by heating water and things. Or by chemical treatment, for example, things like ethylene oxide or chlorine. The ozonator provides several advantages. So compared to the chemical systems, uh, there's no toxic residue left over. So for example, when you treat things with chlorine or ethylene oxide, you have to get rid of these toxic chemicals and there's really no easy way to do that. You have to do something to the material afterwards to, to get rid of that. Compared to the heating methods, like autoclaving or, or microwaving, we're not heating the, the uh, material to treat it, and so we don't have to worry about shedding excess heat, people getting burned by hot materials coming out of the system. So you have a, you know, a process that's happening at room temperature, and that autoclaving, in fact, can't kill some pathogens. Uh, so for example, prions, these uh, infectious proteins, are resistant to autoclaving, and that's known uh, from scientific research. Realizing there had to be a better way, Ozonator went back to the drawing board and ended up going back to nature. Ozone is one of the most powerful microbicides known to science. It's been used for over 100 years for water purification. And what Ozonator has been able to do is take advantage of that natural product and uh, confine it into a, a small space in order to direct it towards treating waste products and to disinfect them effectively. An ozone generator converts oxygen into three-atom ozone. This highly concentrated ozone attacks and destroys pathogens. Once completed, the concentrated ozone is converted back to oxygen. Zero emissions. The other advantage of ozone is that it uh, is very good at treating uh, bacteria, viruses. It can break down uh, some chemical compounds. And in addition, it uh, is able to treat uh, infectious proteins which are not really living organisms but have the ability to cause uh, diseases like uh, Alzheimer's and that sort of thing. So it has a, a wide range of things that it can deal with and inactivate uh, that couldn't exist in biomedical and even other wastes. The greatest benefit of using ozone is there are no harmful byproducts. In fact, the only byproduct of the process is oxygen. The Ozonator industry solution combines the natural sterilizing powers of ozone with industry-proven processing and handling technologies. The NG1000 is an immediate on-site solution that can greatly reduce waste processing costs while streamlining waste flow and reducing risk to employees. Nobody touches the trash. Once it's pulled from the chute, it just comes down in a cart. The cart's immediately loaded onto the machine. The machine handles it from there. Typical medical facility waste flow requires biohazardous waste to be stored in refrigeration until it can be hauled off site for processing. This can sometimes require additional packing and boxing. 
All the trash come down, we had to weigh it in, weigh it out. It went into plastic bags, into cardboard boxes. The boxes had to be built. With respect to safety and liability, it's always a problem that having generated the waste, you're now responsible for disposing in it, of it in a way that, that either meets state or federal codes. The ozonator system allows them to do a better job of that by making sure that the waste is in fact safe for handling before it ever leaves the hospital. The ozonator on-site solution allows waste to be carted directly to the NG1000 for processing. There's no minimum amount required per load and up to 440 pounds can be processed in as little as 10 minutes. Since no high temperature processes are used, the machine can be run non-stop around the clock with no heat up or cool down cycles required. Additionally, due to the low cost of operation, the ozonator can also be used for a variety of other waste streams at your facility. When we had the uh, regular house trash versus hauling out of the infectious waste, we'd pull our trash six days a week and that was just general house waste. Then we would haul out two semi-loads per month on infectious. Now, since it's all combined as one, we've even combining them all, we've taken everything down to two poles a week. Once it comes to the ozonator, it doesn't have to be, you know, we do, it doesn't have to be all red bag trash or all regular trash, we put it all together. Now with the ozonator, we treat everything. So there's no chance of us sending out medical waste that hasn't been treated. All the waste is decontaminated, and for us, that is peace of mind. Here's how it works. Carts are rolled directly to the loading area of the machine. The operator returns to the control panel, where the screen shows all systems and safety checks are ready to go. Then it's a simple matter of pressing the start button. The waste is automatically lifted to the top of the machine, where it is tilted into the hopper. The hopper is then sealed as the chamber begins to fill with highly concentrated ozone. A door on the bottom of the hopper then opens, allowing the waste to enter the shredder where it is ground and reground into small pieces and reduced in volume by up to 90%. This method of processing while grinding exposes all the material for sterilization, a much more effective system than traditional autoclaving or microwave systems that may leave some waste inside clumps unprocessed. After grinding and sterilization, the inert and odor-free waste now located in the lower chamber is then automatically compacted into the attached container and the NG1000 is ready for the next load. The waste is safely stored in a large sealed container until it is full, saving you even more money. With the ozonator, we send it all out at once. We get 18,000 pounds in a load and it's cut down on our hauling costs, uh, approximately $2,000 a week. Comprehensive monitoring systems allow managers to track the weight of each load and where each load came from, giving them an accurate audit of their waste streams. This is also critical for any billback requirements or processing of any off-site waste that may require additional reporting. This proprietary system can even email reports to managers. System functions can also be monitored remotely via the internet to keep an eye open for possible maintenance issues, for troubleshooting, updating software, or for assisting with system settings. Safety is paramount. Extensive monitoring systems keep track of all functions and will not allow the machine to run unless all systems are go. The greatly reduced handling and exposure, along with the benefits of ozone, create a much safer, cleaner, and more pleasant work environment. Safety is very important for our employees. Uh, we worry about it a lot with the ozonator. That uh, there's no chance of a needle stick. Uh, it just seems the perfect, perfect solution for us. And you, you can stand right beside everything. There's, there's just no stench of smell at all. It, it's a clean smell. For the workers handling the system, it's much safer because they don't have a risk of exposure to uh, high pressure steam. That can happen if you have an autoclave leak or something like that, or an incinerator, which is a, you know it gets extremely hot. The material that comes out of it is essentially landfill ready. A wide variety of energy efficiencies allow the NG1000 to operate on about three to four dollars of electricity and less than two gallons of water per hour. The ozonator is truly green technology not only in the benefits to the environment, but also in benefits to your bottom line, even in tough economic conditions.
We had four people at a time handling our waste. At this point, we've got one general staff that brings the waste down. Even with the lease payment, we're still showing savings. So I am showing savings to the board and I will show savings for the entire life of the lease. I mean, I can tell you if anybody's having their waste hauled by a company, they need to look long and hard at this ozonator because once I started looking at it, it was like, we can save money and pay a lease payment. And once the lease payment is over, that's just that much more that we're going to reap and its emission is oxygen. The Ozonator NG1000 allows you to enjoy the best of both worlds, environmental responsibility, and bottom line results. Contact Ozonator Industries today for more information, including white page reports, or to arrange an on-site visit of an Ozonator installation.